Yes, SolveTavi is a randomized trial which had a two by two factorial design um, for patients undergoing um, TAVR um, um, being symptomatic. And so we randomized them to either the self expanding um, core valve Evolute R versus the Sapiens 3 valve. And then we did another randomization, so that's why it is two by two factorial, um, to local anesthesia with contrast sedation versus general anesthesia. So we have randomized um, nearly 450 patients into this trial. Um, the trial was powered for um, an equivalence. Um, so that's the reason why we all together included 450 patients into this randomized trial. So for the valve strategy, the findings were that both valves were equivalent. So we did not find a difference between the two valves um, with respect to our primary study outcome. However, there were some interesting findings. So first of all, the overall mortality was low with roughly 2% in both treatment um, arms, which is low for the overall very high um, risk of the patient. So this is for me an interesting finding. And another interesting finding was that their, the pacemaker implantation rate was relatively high. It was roughly 20%. It was 18% in the Sapien 3, so the balloon expandable valve um, strategy, and 20% in the self expandable valve strategy, so which is higher than other series published previously. Another finding which was interesting that there was a higher stroke rate in patients undergoing um, TAVR with a balloon uh, expandable valve. So this was for us also an interesting and surprising finding. With, the, with regard to the anesthesia strategy, it was also similar or equivalent between the general versus the local anesthesia. Also interesting to find because some registries previously have shown that the hospital stay, ICU stay, and also the procedure time are lower with local anesthesia, but this is exactly what we did not find. So they were totally equivalent. The only different finding what we found is that patients undergoing general anesthesia need more catecholamine. So they need more hemodynamic support. Um, this is what we expected, but this is exactly what we found. For sure, for the overall TAVR procedure, there are many open questions still. So we still have to look for the high pacemaker implantation rate. What was the reason for it? Maybe it was deep implantation, maybe it was oversizing. This is something we currently do not know. Um, this is interesting um, to see. However, the leakage rate was very low, was overall 1.5% in both treatment arms, so severe or moderate um, paravalvular leakage was low. Um, so, but pacemaker implantation, stroke rates, this is something which is still something we need to improve for the TAVR procedure.